Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Milton Walker. Microfinance lenders are pushing back this evening against the pending microcredit bill which has been tabled in Parliament. General Manager Chris and Charles Carol Budlal says the bill is too restrictive. We should be finding more ways to increase the competitiveness of the industry rather than trying to set caps on interest rates and put in place highly restrictive rules about how microcredit institutions operate. At the same time, General Manager Alaska Financial Services, Jacint Hall Tracy, says the Bank of Jamaica was not the ideal entity to develop the framework for the bill. She argues that the bill was drafted for commercial banks. We can't blame the Bank of Jamaica for coming up with a framework like, like this because that is what they know. But what we're seeing that it totally does not fit with the microfinance institution. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $131.04. The Canadian dollar cost $101.86. Sterling is going for $168.08, while the euro sells for $151.72. Oil prices dipped today, going down $1.23 to settle at $58.47 a barrel. Prices are up 29% since the start of the year, although they have nearly 12% below the 2019 high of more than $66 seen in April. The JC index surged to a new record today on strong performance all around. The index gained more than 8,228 points, bringing it up 23% for the first half of 2019. The junior market index also went up. It gained 12 points, but unlike the main index, it's down more than 4% so far this year. As for today, the winners dominated. The best among the lot were CAC 2000 preference shares, Portland JSX, the Jamaica Stock Exchange, the KLA Group, and Pulse Investments. The worst performing stocks were Key Insurance, Fosrich, JMB Group's 7.5% preference shares, Epley, and Access Financial Services. That's the Financial Week. I'm Milton Walker. Good evening. <laughs>